Today we are going to be doing the reading for the month of November and these are the decks I'm going to use. So without further ado, let's get started. So as usual, I'm going to divide it into three piles. Okay, I'm going to keep this for pile number one, two, and three. Okay, just one for this, this and this. Oh, there's already, it's okay. When that happens, I just, okay, maybe this also wants, to, you know what, I'll just do four for each. Now I'm going to use the After Tarot, and if you like the Tarot cards, I'll be leaving link below to each one so you can purchase them. Okay, two, okay, this, and this one, and um, this. Now I'm going to pick the Ganesha cards. I'm working with uh, the DT Ganesha and he's he's not a uh, god who disappoints is what I can say the least. Like he he's so generous and it is he blessed me really fast to be honest, you know. So anyways, Ganesha's blessings may all of you you know what? I'll do it too. Now we are going to use the Starseed Oracle and I'm going to take only one, okay, I feel like this one for card number one, two and no, this one for three. The Monology card because why not and there's a lot of eclipses going on and if you've watched one of my Instagram video then you know I've used this. So. Yep. And then we have the, I believe this is the Green Witch Tarot or, or Green Witch Oracle. I find this very, very pretty, like how they do it. The illustrations are so pretty. And this is the Spirit Animal Oracle. I'm really drawn to animals, so you know, it's always nice blessing to have with this uh, oracle cards. Like I just believe that you know it adds like a positive touch to any kind of reading, which I really appreciate. Okay, these are the crystals. Sorry. Anyways, so there you have it, the piles. Pile number one, this is your pile. Let's check what you got, okay? You have seven of swords. You have mm, ace of cups. You have three of swords, okay? You have three of wands, a lot of three. Mm. Oh, you have two of wands, interesting. Whoa! <laughs> I get so excited. You have three of wands again. What are the odds? Oh my god. This is so cool. Pile number one. You have the six of pentacles. Hmm. I would like to wait, but immediately with this, I felt like. You know, you're the kind of person who will give you will give the people even if they hurt you or something like that like even if someone hurt you in the past you will if you can still help them in some way i feel like you will still help them even if they did you wrong in the past you you seem like a very old soul is what i can come up with you feel like a very mm, what do you call it it's kind of stoic you know you feel like a person who's wiser and more mature in your mind is what I'm getting. Okay, you have harmony. Okay. You have, ooh, you have generosity. What are the odds? I'm going to keep these guys here because they really go along with each other. You have cracked open rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Hmm, okay. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. You have happiness. Oh, with 15, which adds up to 6. Mariora. Hmm. Well, look, you already have the two. Like, there's something about two happening in here. Hmm. Some of you might be meeting someone significant. Starfish, open to infinite possibility. This is so cool. And lastly, you have so the light speak your truth. Okay. So pile number one. First thing first, the things that I noticed was that in the month of November, I feel like in the beginning you might go through some kind of heartache because of someone either betraying you or someone either um betray is a very strong word someone who um didn't meet your expectations but they were being selfish yeah that that would be the right term they were being selfish about something and they didn't they didn't take, take care of how it would affect you and your feelings and i feel like that might hurt you a bit in the coming like a uh, beginning of november but then again i feel like you will start with speaking your own truth you know with this three Three of Swords, I'm also feeling like if some of you have been uh, feeling like you're in the rock bottom, if some of you have been feeling like your life hasn't been going good, or you, even if like from outside people are saying that your life is going all good, for you, it doesn't feel like it. Maybe in your heart, you're hurting. In your heart, maybe you feel disappointed with life right now. If you have been feeling this way, I'm here to tell you that it's soon going to change. Because with the cracked open, rock bottom surrendered to the alchemy of life, a divine timing was at play. You were supposed to go through all the things you went through because there was a timing involved with that. Maybe even for some of you, your karma might be getting lifted off. This is something that is coming to my mind a lot recently that uh, some of us maybe ha uh, basically for example right you have been going through so many things and maybe things have not been working out for you that might have been a part of your karma that you were trying to repay to the universe by going through that suffering when we say suffering for soul those sufferings are kind of payment to balance our karma it's like paying a debt so i feel like with the divine timing being involved this is a time that in the November, this is a time when everything starts to change for you. So if you have been feeling in the uh, like you're, you've been in the rock bottom, surrender to life because my love, you are getting so much, so much, so much blessings. Okay. With again, for some of you, I'm feeling that with speak your truth. If in your relationship, you have been disappointed, if to the people who have done you wrong, maybe disappointed, maybe betrayed, maybe mm, they they were being too selfish and they didn't care about your boundaries or they were just, you, you know, using you and like the more you give, the more they took. And it's so funny because, you know, this ends with this again. And in the beginning, I already told you that, you know, I feel like you're a person who keeps on, I feel like you keep on giving, but I don't see that as a bad trait in this case because... I feel like you know who you're giving to and sometimes maybe even you know that this person might not give you back but you still choose to give and i'm sorry uh, i live near where you know the planes go and come so that is the plane going so excuse me for that sound anyways with speak the truth and the plane coming i would say with this kind of people who have in the past not respected not at all respected your boundaries took more than they ever gave you there was no balance maybe it's a relationship or maybe it's a person you kind of expected them to do right by you speak your truth maybe sort of like is something that might help you with this speak your truth as in there is a way of saying things without hurting people so maybe if someone hurts you instead of just thinking that it's all right you know one thing i'll tell you um pile number one it's okay to be the bigger man uh but sometimes it's just okay to just tell the people that you hurt them you know like hey i really got hurt by what you said or did i think you're not respecting my boundaries and if they get hurt by it offended by a defensive by 
just cut that person out of your life because pile number three i just feel like i just feel like you're a very giving person and you deserve to be around people who deserve your provisions deserve what you can give you know and they can then they can give you back as well not like not like just sucking everything out of you and not giving you anything back in return okay so that is for some of you who have been going through this heartache for a while now this might be no new news to you but that is soon going to change but for some of you in the beginning of november i'm feeling that you might go through some heartache but that can be avoided if you establish your boundaries no don't expect from people this heartache can be avoided pile number three speak your truth whenever you feel like something just say it don't worry about how people will take it that is their business okay now let's get to the good part some kind of opportunity is going to be presented to you for some of you i'm really feeling that someone might help you it may be a romantic partner platonic it doesn't matter but i'm really feeling that someone is coming in your life and um, they might even be uh, this person might even be from a long distance if um, for some of you maybe you are in a long distance relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend and maybe you know you guys can have some sort of communication where you can look forward to meeting again or something like that but for majority of the, uh, you i'm just feeling like Okay, another message that I'm getting is some of, some, of, some of you will get some kind of message that will feel really, that will feel really nice, to be honest. It will, it will warm up your heart or something like that. This could be like maybe through Instagram or through basically any social media platforms. This is one thing I'm getting and the majority of you who are watching this, your hard work is going to pay off your hard work is going to pay off with the tree oh my god this is so beautiful it's like look three 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 and if you see three 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 a lot this is another confirmation so some of you your hard work is going to pay off and and you deserve it pile number one you you deserve it a lot like if anyone deserves it you do because it just feels like you have been you you have gone through a lot and another thing i want to say with that two of ones is that if you ever felt like you know that something is missing in your life in the month of november either someone will come in your life or either you will find something along your journey the card of hermit is coming to my mind either you'll find something along the journey in yourself that it will fill you up basically the yin to your yang that feeling of emptiness it can be remedied in the month of november and with this i would again say bless your soul you are a very giving person but you know i just feel like you you when you have extra you always want to give you know you just i feel like you are the kind of person who thinks like why not like if i have something i can give like i i would rather give so this is uh something i'm seeing in you but i would also suggest um you know don't let people take advantage of you that is one thing i would like to say but you are a very wise person i don't think i need to give you any advice on how you can give or not give or something like that full moon in libra and win win outcome is forecast whatever you've been working on it's like the karma is getting balanced and you're gonna get you, you know there's interesting thing even here we have the balancing scale karma is getting balanced and your hard work is going to pay off whatever you're doing or whatever good karma you have done right whatever good karma you have done it's going to balance it out so you're literally going to reap the ben benefits of your good karma this month of uh, november oh with the two and here also the two um this um this is also giving me the gemini feeling plus you have the three as well um if in the month of uh november if you feel like going out i would highly suggest you to go out meet new people because i feel like you are going to meet some people in your life that that will be significant to you and who will actually respect you for who you are and what you bring to the table and with the harmony and generosity i feel like whatever good you're doing or you you have done yeah, I literally feel like, you know, with this uh, picture of Ganesha giving the rat back, I feel like the universe is going to give you back what what you gave to other people, the goodness that you did to, um, 
I think you will get it back from the uh, universe. The universe wants to reward you, you know, and the harmony in the month of uh, November with the uh, month of November being 11 and then this being 22, 2, 2 adds up to 4. So harmony will be something in the month of November you might feel more peaceful. Yeah. Uh, pray to Lord Ganesha if you don't feel like. And some of you, you might want to work on your uh, sacral chakra. Just meditate on that. Have more fun. You know, whenever I think of sacral chakra, I think fun. And I think manifestation because the, if you have seen those kind of people like... The people who have most fun in life, they they manifest really fast. And um, the fun, uh, loving attribute comes from the sacral chakra. So maybe wear more of orange to activate that. And now with the happiness, need I say more? You are going to be attracting a lot of happiness in the month of uh, 11 <laughs> in the month of november okay i i don't have to say more than this you're going to be really happy in the month of november just minus these people whoever these people are i think you already know and focus on what you want to do okay i i just feel like you know if i could see this if you're giving your back to these people by not expecting anything, you literally take the power away from them. So they can't really hurt you. And if you don't associate yourself with this kind of people, the hurt will go away. But there's a lot, lot of, for some of you, even money is going to come. A lot of money you'll get in the month of November. Another thing I'm getting, if some of you are looking for a job, you might also get some job in the month of November or or at least the opportunity to get a job in the month of November. So look out for that. And three is the number of networking. So go out, meet more new people. Maybe, you know, it might be significant. And you have starfish. You have the starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. Okay, in the month of November, like, it's just like universe asking you, asking you like pile number one, how do you want your... How do you want your November to go? Tell me and I'll give it to you. Okay, so with the starfish, I'm also feeling like a wish come true. So be bold with whatever your wish is, no matter how big it is or how unfeasible it feels to you or how impractical it feels to you, ask for it and you will receive it. Okay, so this is the reading I have for you, pile number one. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to never miss a reading. And if you like this cards, I will be posting a link below so you can order it. Bye-bye. Pile number two. This is the pile you chose. Okay. You have the three of pentacles. Okay. You have the king of cups. Okay. You have the nine of swords. You have the empress. Hmm. You have strength. You have knight of wands. You have ace of cups. You have blessings. Hmm. Look at this here. You have openness. Interesting. You have you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. I really love this card. I really resonate with this card. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. You have attraction, pansy. Mm. This is also Libra. Interesting. If you were drawn to pile number one, you might want to check it out because they, I believe they had uh, new moon in Libra, if I'm not wrong. But Libra was one thing that was very um important in their pile okay you have the rhino rhino spirit overcome any obstacle and you have fluoride find peace within okay pile number one oh <laughs> i even said one pile number two for the month of november first thing that i'm getting is that you will be working on something some kind of collaboration with some uh some person that you already probably work with or have been thinking of working with or for some of you, you're just basically um, working more. You're basically trying to get better at what you do because I see you working with some people. 
I see you working on your craft a bit more. One thing I want to point out for pile number two is that there might be something you've been recently worried about. Maybe it's always in the back of your head, like some kind of worry or anxiety that, um, that obviously that is mental in the sense that it's a worry that has been haunting you for a long time. And I see you making peace with this worry uh, in the month of November with the strength card and the swords, nine of swords, and this is the eighth. Okay, another thing I'm feeling is that some of you have been you have been strong for very long. I feel a bit sad as I'm saying this. It's as if like, um, you know, you could be the person who could hurt others really well as well, but you choose not to hurt people because you know how it feels like to be hurt. So although you have the dark side, I feel like with this uh, strength card, it reminds me of that quote from Dr. Strange. We only uh, learn to live above our demons something like that so whatever this worry is my love it is going to end in the month of november okay this is something you will soon make peace with it's almost like i'm also seeing it as if like this worry that be this big fear or worry you know that uh, with the nine of swords i feel like you're making peace with it. this line being the worry that you're worrying about and then this is you just trusting the process and just making peace with it so in the month of November, you, you're going to make peace with some of your worries. And I think it is going to pan out well because, okay, King of Cups is definitely giving me the vibes that someone might help you in the month of November. It will be someone elder to you or even your higher self for some of you because I feel like in the month of November, your emotions will feel a bit more stable than it did in the past few months. And with the Empress here, yeah, someone definitely who's uh, higher up than you or someone who like a mentor or even your higher self or someone I feel like in the month of November is going to take you under their wings, something like that. Basically, someone is going to give you some kind of comfort either materialistically or either emotionally is what I'm getting with the King of Cups. But definitely, no matter what your emotions are in the month of November, I'm definitely feeling like this is also a part of you that will just go with the flow and just be on top of your emotions no matter how turbulent it is some of you are literally achieving emotional stability in the month of uh, november yeah and um with the knight of wands and the ace of cups for some of you i'm definitely feeling a person coming in and if you are drawn to number uh, pile number one this is another confirmation you should check that pile because uh, I think someone will be really interested in you. They are definitely very passionate about you. Someone in uh, in your life or I feel like this person already knows you. But probably doesn't have the guts to tell you. But yeah, in the month of November, they are either going to take a chance and offer you offer you their, their heart. Basically like, hey, kind of like you or something like that. You know, basically like a proposal or something like, hey, I kind of like you. Not exactly like, you know, I love you or something, but I think they will advance per se. With the with this card, you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness, face your true north. I just, with this card, I'm definitely feeling that some of you may be a people pleaser. Uh, if you were a people pleaser and you inherently have this feeling of, you know, not wanting to hurt people, wanting to fit in, wanting to uh, wanting to not stand out or maybe you're the kind of person who doesn't even like attention, something like that. If you're that kind of person, that it, then it's asking you to embrace your weirdness because somewhere down the line, we always have this feeling of, you know, wanting to be accepted by the society wanting to be accepted by people. We inherently want to be accepted and be loved for who we are, but some of us, we're just not meant to fit in. And this is your call that in the month of November, the universe will be in your favor and you will attract people, okay? You will attract people who will love you with all your weirdness. Who knows this, this person who likes you from afar, likes you very much because of your weirdness, because of the way you are. Okay, what, however you are, you bring beauty to the world by just being in it. You know, it's like that quote that I saw earlier on. It's like the world has so many beautiful things. God created so many beautiful things and still and God still thought that the world needed one of you. 
so this might be something you want uh, you are meant to hear so remember that you know no matter what you do someone will be disappointed someone will not like you anyways so you might as well be just honest to yourself to the woman or man in the mirror and just live your life because we are not for everyone we literally can't please everyone okay a time to give rather than take with a full moon in virgo and a new moon in virgo i'm definitely feeling that if you are a perfectionist this is a call for you to just be a bit forgiving to yourself, okay? Be a bit forgiving to yourself. And I'm not feeling like it's a time to give rather than take uh, is for someone others. I feel this is more for you. If you're the kind of person who does a lot for others, you know, I'm feeling a bit of people pleasing from this pile as well. And um, with Virgo, Virgo are very perfectionist. Yeah, they do want other to, others to also... Uh, you know, the deliver and basically do things perfectly. But at the same time, I feel like they are also very judgmental towards themselves. And they're hardly sometimes very unforgiving towards themselves as well. So with this card, I'm definitely feeling that if you have the perfectionism uh, aspect in you, that needs to be toned down a bit and be a bit more forgiving to yourself, okay? Because in the month of uh, November, you will get some kind of blessings. And with a 44 that adds, adds up to 8, it might be a monetary blessings. But whatever this blessing is, you will feel literally blessed. In a month of November, look out for some kind of blessing that is surely coming up to you and be open to it. You know, this thing, a time to give rather than take. I'm also feeling with the uh, card of openness that I'm feeling with the openness that some of you don't know how to receive. As in like, you know, you are the kind of person who always keeps on giving that you don't know how to receive. So maybe work more on your feminine. Oh, the Empress might also uh, show the feminine side. You know, your feminine side, the uh, part of you that can receive, you know, receive and just be thankful and don't feel like you have to pay it back. Don't always be the kind of person you know like uh, if someone gives something you just say thanks and don't think take it in your mind that oh i have to give back to them because they did send that for me i can understand that because i was also like that that you know someone did something a little bit even good for me and i'm like oh my god i have to do something back for them too because like oh my god they did this for me <laughs> my love be open to be open to receiving okay because the universe wants to bless you and um, Ganesha also wants to bless you. So please open your heart because you are worthy. You're deserving, okay? You're deserving of um, all the blessings and deserving of all the abundance and desires and manifestations that you always desired, basically, okay? With the attraction, again, I'm feeling with this, you know, the Knight of Wands or Ace of Cups. And for some, of you for a little percentage of you i'm feeling like you might develop a crush on someone in the month of november well i would be very interested in that story like but um if you could tell me if this happens it, it would be very cool but uh, for others i'm feeling like someone will be attracted to you and this person whoever is going to be attracted to you will be attracted to you for your weirdness will be attracted to, uh, this person will be very calm and composed um they will probably be very beautiful with the libra sign in here and um this person will be yeah very like emotionally very mature though but when it comes to you they the you stir up their emotions <laughs> and uh, with rhino spirit uh, overcome any obstacle number five i feel like uh this change of uh going from a mindset of you know uh, my, the worries eating you alive to making peace with your worries and you know, per se dancing with your demons or like making peace with your shadow side and shadow work might be something important to you. Please, uh, if you could um, do shadow work, that would be very good for you. If you do it, I feel like this change will literally let you overcome any obstacles in the future. In the month of November, for sure, you will be overcoming obstacles. But I feel like if you can make peace with your demons, you can be the king of cups you can be the person whose emotions are so grounded nothing can face them and whenever an obstacle comes you just naturally whenever a change or obstacle comes you naturally overcome them because you have uh, trained yourself to be 
um, the King of Cups, who is very good with emotions and takes things a bit pragmatically. And with fluoride, find peace within. This again is reminding me of strength card. I feel like somewhere down the line, you're not for everyone. When you forgive yourself, when you let go of the perfectionism and the demands you make from yourself, when you let go of that, when you make peace with your demons, you know, collaborate with people that you like and respect and be more open to blessings as in like be open to receiving without feeling like you're obligated to give to people i feel like you'll find a balance and that is again maybe what libra is talking about here so find peace within if you have been the kind of person who have been you know looking for happiness in other people ha happiness in exterior things this is your huge sign this is a sign that everything that you've been looking for is already inside you Okay, and fluoride might be something you want to wear if you're attracted to it. If not, this message is enough. Find peace within. This is also reminding me of meditation. So if you, again, sometimes feel like the fear or the worry is creeping in, you know, the perfectionism is creeping in, I would suggest you to meditate. Okay, so this is what I have for you, pile number two. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the reading that I post. And if you like these cards, I will leave a link below so that you can purchase it. Having said that, thank you for watching and bye. Pile number three, this is the pile you chose. So let's see what you have. Oh my God, starting off strong. You have the 10 of cups. Wow. Wow. You have the chariot. Ooh, okay. You have the Two of Cups. Okay. Interesting. You have the Six of Swords. This is very interesting. Like, piles are really, like, kind of uh, similar to each other. You have the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Oh, wow. You have the Eight of Swords. Six, Seven, Eight of Swords. A lot of mental energy. You have Two of Pentacles. You have perseverance. Okay. You have joy. You have messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Okay. You have communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Hmm. You have regeneration with tarragon. And the symbol for you, zodiac sign for you is Aries. You have parrot spirit. Watch your words. Okay. You have clear quartz. Get crystal clear. Point number three. You have a very interesting energy here. Let me just ponder on it a bit. Okay. Pile number three. First of all, one of your wishes are going to come true in the month of November. Okay, but there is something you have to be careful about. I want you to be careful about who you tell your good news to. Because I personally believe that even though people can seem to be happy that you achieved your desires or manifested something i personally believe in the evil eye so i would suggest when you have your wishes come true i would ask you to be careful about who you tell it to because some of the people around you don't want your best they are kind of jealous of you or they for example you already have something they want and they were like wow you know this is so cool la 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 but then again when one of your wishes comes true they're like, okay, you already had that. So, you know, there's a bit of jealousy that can be involved in there. Maybe they don't mean to do it. Like, they don't mean to be, they don't mean to put like a bad energy on you, but it comes regardless. So whenever your wish comes through in the month of November, just um, either tell it to people that you know will be very happy for you, or I would suggest keep it to yourself and be grounded about it, okay? One of the reasons I kind of 
get a bit uh, worried about seeing the negative aspects of things is because I don't want my viewers to get, you know, negative feelings after they watch my tarot reading. But then again, I have to be honest about what messages I was getting because that was instantly what I was getting. And I was thinking that, you know, how to say it in a way that it doesn't scare you off because um, this is something you have to be important about because, you know, with the parrot spirit, watch your words. It's like be careful about who you around who who you talk to as well because parrots you know they're associated with gossiping so be careful about people in general uh who are around you if you ever felt like okay this person i feel like might not be totally happy for me then don't tell it or if you're starting a project for example you get a uh, yes for a dream project or someone hires you or something like that maybe maybe just start start and like you know after like two weeks or something then say oh hey by the way i'm starting to work in this company or i've started this project and it's super cool let them you know uh know later on maybe if they ask you just say like at that time you know i just didn't feel like telling anyone because i've been working so hard for it and i was genuinely scared that something might go wrong and that's why i didn't tell anyone if they get offended or something like that so this is just some general thing I wanted to put out there. With the chariot and the get uh, crystal clear, I feel like if you are, are trying to manifest something, the universe wants to give you, but you need to be clear because with this chariot and the black and white, I feel like sometimes you might have this feeling that, wait, I kind of want this, but I also want this, but I want that, but this again, like some kind of um, it's and buts and some kind of a second thoughts that you're having i would ask you to like write it down journal it out your priorities with this messenger as well and this communication is the key i feel like this communication is the key is again you know i'm seeing a polar opposite signs in you like sometimes you might be one person and then second time you might be another sometimes you might feel like super confident about something and the next moment you're just like okay i'm not sure anymore so if you want to manifest something be clear about it so that the universe can give you and once you're clear about it you know take the reins of these horses that are facing opposite sides and direct them to where you want to go okay this is one um focus in the month of november you're also being called to focus on what you're trying to manifest because the universe wants to give you but the first you need to get crystal clear and if you are drawn to uh clear quartz clear quartz is really good for you know amplifying uh it's also very good to um get your head clear so if you are sometimes filled with you know uh, negative emotions or feeling clouded not knowing what you want then you could keep like clear cards around you and now to the <laughs> this part of the reading okay this part of the reading is for me very interesting because i feel like you have recently gone through something that probably it's even with love related you probably went through something that wasn't very pleasant and you you probably still carry the baggage emotional baggage of whatever this thing you went through and it took a mental toll on you but you're starting to go towards the calmer waters right and the people who did you wrong their karma is going to catch up to them because I also see that, you know, mentally, mentally, you might feel trapped sometimes. You might also go through victim mentality sometimes. But I see that there will be some people. Okay, there are two kind of people that I'm feeling might come to your life in the month of November. Some of the people, they are literally going to help you out with this victim mentality or the feeling of stuck. If you've been feeling stuck lately, that, you know, mentally, if you're feeling drained, like, I don't know, like... I don't know what to do if you're feeling like stuck in some kind of decisions then some person might help you out that is one thing okay some person might show you that uh, maybe it's just this terror reading as well that some person might show you that you're not as weak as you think you are you are a very strong person and with the regeneration i'm literally feeling that in the month of november you'll get out of this feeling stuck things will start to move again and this um you feeling stuck will not be there anymore you will start to move on from whatever happened to you because karma is going to literally bite the ass of the people who 
hurt you or did you wrong or betrayed you okay with the regeneration yeah and with the Aries, you can definitely expect movement you know Aries is all about action so you can definitely expect movement if you've been feeling stuck with the two of cups i'm also feeling a kind of reconciliation from someone from your past maybe it's it might be an ex it might be a friend but i'm feeling more of the romantic side reconciliation or some of you might meet someone who you like or i'm feeling that you already know this person and probably you both had feelings and in the month of november it might be something like you guys might advance and um, make uh, advancement towards each other's about how you feel but this is for very few of you okay now with the two of uh, pentacles okay this is very interesting energy i'm feeling for some of you who's looking for a job or something like that i feel like you will be noticed by some people who are very higher up they may be very cut troth and um they may uh maybe if you're applying for a company or something you will be noticed but uh you know it's like those interviews where they are very hard but you know once you're on board with them this kind of company they they worked hard too so they want to work with people who are also serious about serious about work ethics and stuff like that so if work is something that you have been working on you are going to be noticed in the month of november okay keep putting out your resumes uh keep trying on because someone is going to notice you and they will probably reach out to you or you will hear from them like hey um we saw your resume and like for interview if you want to we can uh you know schedule an interview with you and stuff like that and this eight nine ten again this ends up to eleven you have a lot of eleven kind of energy in you i think there was this no no i think i saw eleven so i didn't oh no it was just this which looked like eleven okay with this teeth i'm also feeling like cut off what is not serving you okay cut off what's not serving you this teeth reminds me of the teeth that um ganesha broke to write Mahabharata so perseverance your intuition will guide you and whatever you're working on especially um, this materialistic thing don't give up okay don't give up you're close to something and uh, definitely with the joy I think this is where seven yeah joy this is where 11 comes up oh wait you have both 11 7 plus 4 is 11 and 8 plus 2 is also 11 yeah your intuition is going to be a huge factor in the month of november which is also 11 okay listen to your intuition it will guide you very well in the month of november and i'm also getting drawn to shiva shivlinga in here if you're um if you know who shiva is you can pray to him for getting grounded or understanding of life so that you can preserve your preserve your, and then this perseverance will ultimately lead you to your manifestation whatever you're trying to manifest okay because some of the manifestation like i said with the joy it will definitely be coming through with the messenger series energy bringing harmony and balance yeah i'm definitely feeling like some kind of opportunity is going to come to you so you will be noticed in the month of november and please take take opportunity whatever this is some kind of opportunity will come to you in the month of november and please don't let that opportunity slide and with the bringing harmony because this whatever message or uh, whatever opportunity that will bring you know come as a messenger for you is going to bring the harmony and balance that you've been seeking for at least for that phase of your life so this is what i have for you pile number three remember to meet your um meet the both sides of you the negative sides of you the happy side of you this i'm really feeling with the communication is the key i'm feeling like this is more of like communication also with others but majorly with yourself communication with yourself okay keep it honest with yourself let go of perfectionism if you have that okay and if you are drawn to pile number two i would also suggest you to watch that 
And having said that, this is what I have for you, pile number three. I hope you enjoyed it. If you resonated, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to never miss a reading. And if you liked the cards, I will be posting a link below so that you can order it. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.